Right, let's see what we got this game. Playing on, is this Kamchatka, I think? Kamchatka. The content stealer, the number one content stealer. <laughs> of course. I like to call it uh, content recycling. Content recycler. Just because I'm coping. <laughs> All right, what we've got here? We've got uh, Big Ungers playing as Brits. Going up against Kaleli's uh, Sweden. Let's see what both of these guys have got in store for us. Ungers clearly practicing for the upcoming tournament. I don't think Kaleli is Kaleli, Kaleli was in chat. Kaleli, are you? Uh, have you signed up? I feel like you should. If you haven't, I feel like you should. Kaleli definitely one of those uh, kind of not mid tier but high tier players that can um, can definitely take games off the top players. I didn't. You should have done. Uh, you know, there's there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of groups where if you got fortunate in the group. You know, you, you could have gone through, definitely. Okay, Ungers does have VC. Three villagers. No food, but 700 and 600 wood and gold. And then just pretty standard. Three rockets with two infinite rockets. <laughs> good to see, good to see. Does have yeoman. All the upgrade cards. So look at Kaleli. Okay. Uh, one v one, and you have Team Fallon Mine, Team One Prospector Wagon. Mines last longer. Oh, wait a minute. That's actually quite good. So, this gives your whole team one Prospector Wagon. But I, I, does the, does the gather yield, that will be, for, oh, so it doesn't, okay, okay, I'm following. So the gather yield for your team is 25% and it gives each, so if you're in like a 3v3 and you've got like a German and a Dutch player, that's OP as fuck. That's OP in, in 2v2 and 3v3s. That is really good. Two minds better? What? Not in a three v three. It's not. I mean, it's not. It's not a particularly good one v one card. Obviously, it's not a good one v one card. But in team games, that seems overpowered. I I do I do over egg that term. I have to say, but that seems like a really good card. Um, six hundred wood, seven hundred wood, six hundred gold, seven hundred gold. Uh, no blueberries. That feels. You've got to have blueberries, surely, in you know, in a one v one deck. It does have ironworks. Uh, does have the full mines, hacker pellet. Uh, interesting resource cards. That's a lot of resource cards to have. Uh, maybe we'll see. Oh, we've got two forward villagers. That looks like that's they're gonna be uh, for barracks. Oh, he's gonna see it. Oh, look, we've got we've got female villagers everywhere. Damn girl. Mm hmm. Swag sway swag. Look at that swing. Look at those hips. From sad to sad. I say this every time. Every time I look at a female villager. Uh, who was that saying was first? Yeah, my God, I'm thirsty. Jesus Christ. Um, what have we got here? John Flinders. Ungers has reached the commercial age. Both these civilizations have decent age at times. In comes a barracks with two villagers. 700 gold is your first card. Wait, what? Oh, is, is he going to go the double racks? So he's built two extra torps in age up. So he's played it pretty standard so far. Yes, he is. Wow. Uh, great scouting though by Ungers. Ungers is going to see this. So everyone now on food. Everyone on food. Damn. Damn, this is going to be scary. Are we going to see a Kaleli rush? I'm getting strong uh, I Am Zage vibes here. <laughs> Uh, doesn't it like he aged up with the governor? So what did he age up with? He's got the cow there. So he aged up with the two villagers and two cows. 
which is obviously, you know, seems pretty good in this uh, scenario. Those those cows give like 400 food in total, right? Because they start with 200, I believe, um, and extra two villagers. It's a pretty good age up, uh, especially if you eat them under the cow, uh, under the torps. Um, you know, the torps, that, what's the torps that 1.72 they turn into whilst that cow's dead there. So, yeah, pretty nice. And it's 5 minutes 30, and we have 10 Carolians. It's uh, going to be 6 minutes soon, and it looks like we'll likely have another 10 Carolians. I like this. The population, population space is going to get tight after this, so he's going to decide to go for Dominions. Outpost almost smacks 1 Carolian so far. Only 5 uh, Musketeers out for Ungers, though. Yeah, needs to back up. Needs to wait till he gets that extra 10 in. He's got his Explorer here as well. On, like, you know, 300 HP, um, which is pretty nice. Double racks coming in for Ungers very quickly, though. And six Longbows. With this Explorer, needs to go. Are we going to see a charge? Put that Explorer in melee mode, I beg. Ungers, nice micro here. Longbow's taking out these. Ready? Musketeers chasing these Carolians. But who's going to be able to keep the production up? Ungers has very little people on wood. Did go 700 wood straight into six Longbowmen. Oh, but yeah. Why would you go that deep? Why would you go that deep? That's what she said. Carolians getting a nice... Yeah, like when Carolians get this close as well, because they have that faster attack, 2.5 rate of fire, especially if they're in melee versus longbows. Oh, they're going to do so much damage. So, so much damage. 20 hand attack in melee. Compared to normal musketeers with 13. Got to be careful. Okay. Kaleli, there's where the Dominions have gone. Six musketeers now coming in. Unger's getting a little bit worried. He's shipping another military building. Uh, military unit. Shipment. No four vills. Nice. No 600 wood. So he's on 32 vills. Still traps coming in though as well. So his eco's not bad. Eco's not bad. Compared to 24 vills. Slash what? Eight torps? Yeah. Eco's are pretty neck and neck. I don't think there's a market here. No. So there's no hunting dogs or anything like that from his side. So... Maybe quite good for, um, still probably quite good for Ungers. But Ungers potentially can throw this really hard. If we see the two leather cannons coming next as well, that could be something else. Ten Carolians coming in. There they are. Boom. I love Carolians' melee um, attack as well. The animation they just got like those those really like fencing swords it's like hiya hiya like captain hook fencing it's really cool to see but getting absolutely melted and they do in melee mode you know they do because of that that extra uh, melee damage that they have um they absolutely destroy musketeers same hp same resistance but these do have higher melee attack they do have less uh, ranged attack though so you definitely want to range attack although carolines do have that um faster attack rate as well so yeah carolines just a good unit carolines just a great unit <laughs> unger's giving uh, unger's giving it brave unger's giving it the are you ready i'm not sure what, what the timing was about there but um it looks like Kaleli needs to be saying it to him. Two leather cannons coming in now. <laughs> How is Ungers going to deal with that? How is Ungers going to deal with that? <laughs> yeah, score slightly ahead for Ungers. I don't know. Now it's Kaleli. It's, Reese is really close. He does have that outpost to contest with. I think Minutemen's already been shipped as well for Ungers. I'm not, I'm not sure. Have Minutemen been shipped? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Minutemen got shipped. He's going for the uh, HP. Yeah, now looking, now it's starting to look like a really scary mass. It's just the leather cannons, man. 
Oh, no, no. He, he could have gone in. But he's baited him. He baited him and he got two. Uh, got three shots off in total. Ah, oh, beautiful bait. Beautiful bait. And obviously, he can pull trick here as well. Oh, 10 more coming in. Oh, now he's going to get sandwiched. Oh, now his musketeers are splitting. Minimen coming in, though. Are the Minimen going to be enough, though? Oh. He's going to be enough to take one down. Nice play with the Minutemen. He could get TC fire range as well, almost. Yeah, Caroline's going to melee. Kaleli knows that they've got, the, they've got a really good, nice bonus in melee mode. Minutemen just about taking out the second level cannon. So the Minutemen, the Minutemen MVP, if they win this. Now, now he knows that there's no more long, uh, no more level cannons to deal with. Likely, there's not going to be any for a while. So yeah, now he's just going to go pure longbow, which is nice. Oh, score still. I, I feel like that was a really good fight for Kaleli, but scores are suggesting otherwise. Unger's pulling further away there. It's a car interesting Carolean over here. Uh, looks like he probably picked off a villager because I can't see a villager near this herd or this uh, manor. Now getting more buffs for musketeers. So, yeah, these musketeers now pretty scary. 14 hand attack, 26 range attack, and 173 HP. So they would definitely be beating these uh, Caroleans. Ooh, but more talks going up. So what's Kaleli's ship then since the two leather cannons? It looks like he's gone for 700 wood. He's gone for 700 gold. He's gone for 600 gold as well. Not sure in which order. He does have a market down. Torps. Torps. You know, population looking pretty good. Slowly but surely getting there. Could definitely fight that, actually. Could have, could have charged. I'm not sure why he was scared of charging in there. Okay. What's up, big robot? Yeah, he's, he's, he does. Uh, we've discussed this, Rosato. <laughs> Are we out of our minds? <laughs> Ungers is uh, Ungers is worried right here now. Losing another villager. 36 vills for Sweden. So, again, he's doing all right with, with the villager count. I mean, Ungers is on 44. He does have another five or six manners to reproduce. So, if he can get them out, his villager count will be looking pretty good. But Torps, you know, they go... Brrrra. Could... Could... Like whenever you get to this stage as well, um, when when you think that your opponent, you know, he, this is where this is where his eco is doing best. The problem with the Brits, they have to kind of push out onto the map. Um, but at this stage of the game, you, like you kind of potentially just want to kind of wait it out and just try and wait for Torps to die because they eventually will. But look at this Caroline mass right now. It's shipping free hazards by the looks of it as well, and I think. <laughs> Diving half of them into melee. The other half, look how many there is. Oh my goodness me. And I think with that, that's going to be impossible for Ungus to hold. <laughs> Are we going to see a Kaleli win? 2k score up. 10 more Kaleli's coming in. I think it's just hopeless at this point. GG. Well played to Kaleli. Um, interesting build with the with the rush. I've been saying this for a long time. I feel like Sweden, against a lot of their matchups, need to be doing this. They need to be rushing. Because um, that's, you know, shipping resource cards and things like that. Because that's what they seem to do best at. What could Ungers have done? Now, guys, if you're playing against Sweden, right, especially if you're getting age two rushed, can I give you Brit players a little bit of advice? Build fucking Grenadiers. Why does no one build Grenadiers versus 
the most musk sieve in the game. Why? Why do they not do it? He's even shipping these cards. He's even shipping Team Grenadier Guards and Scots Guard. And what does that say on it? Oh, look. Grenadiers. Grenadiers. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Grens destroy Carolians. Longbows can do well, but longbows are very susceptible to getting to getting charged. Whilst grenadiers have a very strong melee as well. So you can't don't forget that. Grenadiers have very strong melee attack. <laughs> Why are people saying that's bad advice? It's fucking good advice. Plus, what else do Grens do well? Oh, siege the shit out of things. What do Sweden build? Oh, yeah. Torps. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You start musketeers, you add grenadiers. Start musketeers, add grenadiers. And you're going to have a good time. Plus, I'm pretty sure leather cannons do zero damage to grenadiers. Like, I'm pretty sure they suck versus grenadiers. Like, imagine at the start there, instead of that double racks, just adding in, like, three or four grenadiers. As long as you protect them, and they don't get charged the fuck out of. Because by the time before they can get in, you're going to do so much damage. Especially if you're meleeing with, uh, with the musketeers as well. I'm telling you, boys. I'm giving you free advice here. I'm giving you free advice. I'm giving you free advice. 